Okay, so after you have your draw part drawn up, what you want to do is you want to go to manufacture mode. So I'm going to click right here, go down to manufacture, and this is where you're going to select tools and create tool paths and generate G code. Okay, so once you're in manufacture mode, nothing looks too much different. Uh, what you'll notice is the toolbars have changed right here. Uh, I now have. I now have um, cam tools, like a face operation, pocket operation, stuff like that. Uh, so first thing I need to do is define my part orientation. So I'm going to go to setup, and I need to define what what the top of the part is. Where's the top of the part? So I'm going to go. I'm in milling, so make sure you're in milling. Uh, orientation, I'm going to select this uh, second one, or actually the first one. Uh, select Z axis plane with the X axis. So I'm going to click that, and right here where it says Z axis, I click right here, and I'm going to click on the face of the part. And you'll notice the uh, Z axis is pointing up. Uh, this yellow area, beige, that's our uh, stock material. Next thing, I want to change my x-axis, so I'm going to click right here to x-axis, and I'm going to click this line. And if it comes up the wrong direction, I can always hit flip, so you can toggle on which direction you want it. Uh, this looks good. I'm going to go, I can select a stock point and make this my X and Y zero. Now that's assuming my stock is set up right. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this tab. This is my stock tab. And I'm gonna put it on fixed size. So I'm going to say my part width is 4.125. Makes it look like this. Um, my Y, I'm going to leave at 2.5. My Z, put it at 0.75. So this is my stock right here. So I hit OK. This is what it looks like. This is basically I'm using a, a flat bar aluminum, three quarter tall by two and a half inches. 